Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial series, I'll be introducing you how to use Google Drive API in Python. So this is going to be video number one. In this video, I'll quickly go over some of the important feature of Google Drive API and some use cases as well as how to get started to create your first Google Drive API service instance. And the instance allows you to connect to different Google Drive features and methods. Alright, so let's get started. So here I'm on the Google Drive API documentation page and the latest version is version 3, so which is uh, V3 indicating right here. And I think Google Drive API is the most widely used uh, Google API service. And just because uh, when you need to authenticate to different applications or different programs, a lot of time you will see the option to use uh, your Gmail account to verify your account. And the backend engine is actually using Google Drive API to uh, talk to different systems and to uh, authenticate the account. Now let's just quickly uh, navigate this page. If we read to the description, the Google Drive API allows you to create apps that leverage Google Drive Cloud Storage. You can develop applications that integrate with Google Drive and create robust functionality in your application using Google Drive API. So here are some of the terminologies that are uh, associated to Google Drive API. And here are some of the use cases. What can you do with Google Drive API? You can download files from Google Drive and upload files to Google Drive. You can search for files and folders stored in your Google Drive. You can also create complex search queries that return any of the files that match to uh, the query criteria. Some of the collaboration functions you can combine with Google Picker API. Uh, I don't think I have ever used Google Picker API before. I'll, I might look into it to see uh, what that is. You can create third party shortcuts that are external links to data store outside of the drive in a different data store or cloud storage system. So, what that means is uh, you can integrate Google Drive API with uh, third-party cloud storage such as Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, Box.com and just about any application that has API that you can integrate using Google Drive API to enhance the functionality. You can create a dedicated drive folder to store your application's data so that the app cannot access all the users' content stored in Google Drive. And the last one is you can use Google Drive API to integrate with Google Drive UI. And which I don't know what Google Drive UI is. Uh, I might need to look into it. But yeah, so these are some of the use cases. Now let's look at the authentication step. The Google Drive API uses uh, OAuth 2.0 to authenticate a user's account. And these are some of the scopes that you can use to uh, request different type of permission from a user's account. And I'll post a link in the description below. The drive scope will be the scope I'll be using mostly since this scope will give me uh, full permissions uh, from a user's uh, account. And I'll be using my account for a uh, demonstration. Now let's take a look at the quota. When you use Google Drive API, you can make 1 billion requests per day. For personal uses, I don't think we'll ever exceed that limit. But if a company and you exceed that quota, you can actually request uh, Google to uh, increase the limit. But I think there are some costs associated to increasing the limit. And that's the same thing I'm going to cover in terms of uh, the inflation when it comes to using Google Drive API. Let's go into our Python editor. And I'll show you how to create Google Drive service instance so you can connect to different Google Drive resources. Right, so before we begin, you will need a couple of things. You will first of all uh, install the Google Client Libraries. So here, if you go to the uh, main page under the Guides page, and you want to go to Python, and here are the steps that guides you to how to uh, get started with using Google Drive API. So the first step is we need to turn the Drive API service. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my Cloud Console. Here, let me go to the main page. If this is the first time you are using Google Cloud, 
then you can watch the video in the description that guides you through how to create your first Google project. Choose a project that you want to use. Then go to navigation menu. Go to APIs and services. Click on library. In the search field, you want to search for drive API. It should be the first option. So click on that. And just make sure that the Google Drive API service is enabled. Let me go back to my Python editor. You also need to download this uh, Google.py module. Inside this module has a create service function, which simplifies any Google API service creation uh, process. And let me increase the font size. All right. Now create a new uh, Python script. In my script, I'm going to import the create service function from Google module. So I'm going to type from Google, import create service. And we need to create variables to store the information we need to pass to our function to create a Google Drive API instance. We need to provide the client secret file, client secret file. And my file name is going to be uh, this one right here. Client secret Google Cloud demo .json. And we also need to provide the API name. API version and the scopes. And it's gonna be a list. Now let me go back to the authentication page. And I'm going to just copy uh, the scope name and just paste it. And next I'm going to insert the create service function. I'll pass the client secret file, API name, API version and the scopes. And I'll name the output as service. I'm going to insert the print function. I'm going to print all the attribute and methods of the service object. Now if I press F5 to run the script. And if we look at the attributes and methods, and here are all the methods uh, of the Google Drive API. If we go back to the documentation, if we go to reference, from the resource summary, so here are all the uh, Google Drive API resources. If we just do a quick comparison, so the first one is about, changes, channels, comments, and so on. And to this series, I'll be showing you how to use different resources and how we can automate some tests using Google Drive API.